to create. Yeah! All right, let's get it. Let's work together. Let's be safe. Let's be smart. Let's use our logic and our brain. Our brain that pervades us, our creativity. Let's get started. So today, what you saw and what you're going to have on the video here is um, the kids working on solving a problem, trying to figure out an answer for the Disney executives who want to place a Disney amusement park here in Virginia, but the Disney executives want to kind of upgrade their idea about what an amusement park is so that the amusement park is environmentally friendly, cost effective, and also uses alternative energy sources. Mm -hmm. So the kids right now are designing fish ladders for possible dams that Disney might incorporate into their theme park. You're gonna make a prototype of a fish ladder. Who remembers what prototype is from yesterday? Something that actually works? Um, a, mini oh, no. a, mini a miniature model. A miniature model. So here is your miniature model of your dam. The point of what we're doing is to give the teachers experience in planning and teaching science in a, in a way that is connected to real world problems and is more open-ended and provides opportunities for creativity and ingenuity on the part of the kids, mm -hmm. along with incorporating all the standards of learning, all the essential content the kids are supposed to be learning. Now for the teachers what it does is gives them not only knowledge about an approach which most of them have not ever used, which we call problem-based learning. Uh, give them knowledge about that, but give them uh, the challenge to design an application, which is what they do the first week that they're here with us. And then, since they know the campers are coming, they design and then they teach what they have designed and test it out. So the teachers, in essence, are engineers. I've really learned how to effectively use problem-based learning in instruction um, and then also have them have the opportunity to design, not only design but to talk about their designs using those vocabulary terms um, and then having them actually be able to test out and see their design into full fruition. So that was really neat to experience. Children are really, really excited and it makes you excited. It makes you want to be better um, it's because you don't want to let them down. So it, it, it was just a really good experience um, in and showing them that there's a different way to learning. Um, you can learn and have fun. Science can be fun. A ton of fun may be a very simple way to say it, but when you devote yourself to the job of being an elementary school teacher, uh, you do it usually because you really love kids and you want the best for kids. And sometimes amidst all of the, the work, that teaching is, and teaching is very hard work. Um, you can you can kind of forget to tap into the kid in yourself, and have fun with what you're doing. And this approach gives teachers not only permission, but requires them to exercise their creativity. To to if they have kind of lost the fun or diminished the fun, it puts the fun back in not only for them, but it ensures the fun for their kids.